from a master when we get you a backstage pass from Billy Joel this Friday morning, the 10th of May. On a smaller, more intimate ven venture, it's a combination question and answer seminar, lecture, concert, and a talk show. We caught up with him at Vassar College. Here's your backstage pass to meet Professor Billy Joel. You're going to get everybody telling you you can't do it, you shouldn't do it, you're crazy, you'll never make it. It's too tough out there. Well, if you know in your heart that that's what you are, that that's what you have to do, do it. Professor Joel plays a little music. Tells jokes, inspires, but most of all, he teaches. The emphasis really isn't on me singing and playing as much as utilizing the instruments to illustrate points about writing, recording, what have you. See, I've made every mistake you can make in this business, and I've lived to tell the tale, and I want to help other people avoid those mistakes. I have a question. Do you write better when you're happy or when your heart's broken? You know, that's, that's come up. That question has come up. Um, I think I write best when I'm feeling extreme in either direction. I took a page from John Lennon. He didn't always wait for the best mood in the world. I think whenever you have an emotion that's, uh, that's driving you, that, that you feel passionate about, you can utilize it. Does it come to you all at once, or do you have to like sit down and it's like kind of doing homework where you like procrastinate about it for a while? I write the music 99.9% .9 of the time first. Always write the music first because to me the international universal language is music. I never hear lyrics on the radio anyway. I love the Rolling Stones, but I didn't have a clue what Mick Jagger was saying. And they now and now some music and they show. What? Billy's lyrics? Well, they come to him from everyday experiences. Okay, well, that's what I have. I'll have a bottle of red, a bottle of white, have a bottle of roses tonight. On this tour, you get a little music, some lessons on life, and some surprises. I'm a musician myself, and one of my dreams, I play the horn. It's like uh, to accompany you, but I've done it so many times with the tapes. I was like, I don't know, would it be all right if I? What do you think? I'm in a New York state of mind. When did you first realize in your career? I guess I'm a star. I did uh, this song just the way you are. I would not see. When we were in opening and the audience went crazy. Then it happened again the next night. And then it happened again the next time we played. So I realized this thing is becoming a hit record. Billy explains to his students that he was this close to not even recording that song. We don't know. We don't know. We listen to it going, I don't know, it's kind of mushy. I don't know what you think. It's kind of mushy. You know, and then Linda Ronstadt and Phoebe Snow come into the studio and they listen to the song and they go, you have to put that on the album, man. Yeah. With over 200 songs written, how does he remember them all? I have a book on stage. Now, it really isn't going to help if I forget where I am. I can't dive into the middle of the page. But for some reason or another, just knowing that I have proximity to the lyrics helps me a great deal. It's a pretty good crowd for a Saturday. And the manager gives me a smile. To see, forget about life for a while. So you're riding along in the car, you're punching around on the dial, and a Billy Joel song comes up. Do you punch it off, or do you sing along to it? If it comes on the radio, that's fair game. And that volume knob goes up to 10. <laughs> and I roll down the window and I start singing. <laughs> sure. I like that. Cool. Hey, that's me. <laughs>
What so fun. great. What fun. There are not many people that I would pay money and stand in the middle of 20,000 people to go here. But he's one. He puts on awesome How about that show. kid? Could I play with you? And he gets and he's he up there it. playing with Billy Joel. Excellent. His life will never be the same. Billy Joel, one of the, one of the good guys. Yeah. One of the good guys out there. And what fun. Great right? series. Thank and you very much. he listens to his own songs. Turn it up. <laughs> 23 minutes before the hour, there's nothing like mom.